Hey guys, welcome back. Tex here. We are in the middle of this new Orbiter flight series that I was inspired to do from David Courtney's comeback. Uh, I'll be sure and put a link to his channel below. I'm sure most of you guys know um, about his channel if you're following mine, but I uh, really enjoyed uh, watching his series and made me remember how much I missed playing Orbiter. Just have not had time to play much of anything in terms of games, but... I didn't want to leave you guys hanging any longer. I thought it was time to at least do something here. So we are in the middle of this flight where we took off from the Earth. Uh, we have ejected Earth's orbit and we are en route to Venus. We're looking at uh, going to have to do a course correction here in this video and we'll probably get to Venus for a slingshot past Venus. Uh, that's going to take us back to Earth where we will slingshot past the Earth and uh, arrive at Mars. There is a space station, the fuel service station in orbit around Mars, where I'm planning to rendezvous with that. And if everything goes well, we'll hopefully get there with enough fuel and enough locks on board. We are in the XR2. We have uh, a little over a thousand days of locks here, so we should be okay, but uh, cross your fingers that we can get there in one piece. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. All right, guys. So uh, as I said, we are coasting uh, to Venus right now. Like I said, we're definitely going to have to do a course correction. Now, the question is, I don't remember when the best time to do that course correction is. Um, I seem to recall that as long as your closest approach is counting down, that you want to hold off until it slows down and stops. So let me just um, time accelerate here and see what's happening. So it is counting down. We are we're in the we're in the region. We're not really I would say in the neighborhood. This is uh, again I butcher the the distances on these MFDs. I believe this is telling me that we are two thousand no two billion meters. I can't remember guys. It's a long ways away. It's it's in the region in terms of space distances, but it's not close enough to really have a nice view of Venus, which we definitely want to do on this flight. That would be really cool. Now, of course, our main objective is to slingshot Venus in this particular flight plan. As I recall, when I did this years ago, it wasn't super easy to pull off. It's a little finicky. When you're talking about slingshotting the inner planets, you do have to be a lot more accurate versus Jupiter, which is just this massive planet that you was it's almost impossible to not hit the thing because it has so much gravity. Uh, but uh, well, let's just um, we're going to continue to time accelerate here. We're going to watch this closest approach. It's counting down. So that's good. And I think what we're probably going to do is coast around over here somewhere. Because uh, I think this dashed line, I don't remember if that's the line of nodes. I think it might be. But it could also be this solid white line. I can't remember. But I do like that we are seeing this tick down. So we're getting much closer. We're getting much closer to being in the neighborhood here. So I think I'm going to coast over to this dash line where I think that's the line of nodes. And let's start setting up a mid-course correction about here. Okay, so to do this, we're going to go to view, turn on maneuver mode, and we're going to play around with the variables. I suspect it's going to take a combination of uh, prograde, outward, maybe even plane change, because the question mark for me was how much of the plane change did we miss out of doing on our injection burn. So let's see. Let's play around. Whoa, that got us really close here. Uh, let's play around with these variables for a minute. So just a little bit of prograde gets us in the neighborhood. So let's keep coming in with that. Uh, that's not very much prograde at all. Uh, and let me check this real quick. We can actually see how much delta V we have left in the vessel, if I remember correctly. Uh, is it right here? Yeah. So good Lord, we have tons of delta V left. I think we're okay on fuel. Yeah, we have over half a tank of fuel, so we should have plenty of fuel. I could have actually set the fuel ISP settings a little bit harder than that, but that's fine. All right, uh, back to Transax. So we're in the neighborhood with just a little bit of prograde. Let's hop over to the date, and this one it doesn't so much matter for your uh, mid-course corrections, but let's just bump it up a little bit so we're planning the burn just a little bit away from where we are now. Uh, so if I remember right, sometimes outward was a big help. For mid course correction burns so i can play around with a little bit of outward that's getting us closer you can see what we want to be doing over here 
we want to be uh, over this yellow dashed line. And I think we probably want to look at this view because it's a little bit easier to see that. But we'll start out here and let's go to plane change and see if that does anything for us. So that is not really helping a whole lot, but we'll just leave it there. Let's go back to prograde. Seems like prograde and outward is doing the most for us. And outward seems to be super, super sensitive. Let's go ahead and switch over to this view and see how close we can get. So just bear with me for a moment, guys. I'm just going to play around with these variables for a bit and see what we need to do. That's a lot of plane change that's going in there. I'm not sure about that. It was over a thousand kilometers per second, I think, of uh, plane change that we were supposed to put in on the injection burn, and we didn't. So I wonder if that's what we're going to have to put in here. That's getting us closer. Let's go back to prograde. Um, wonder if we go plus with that, and then. Minus on outward or the opposite. Go plus with prograde and then minus with outward. No, that's not helping. That's the opposite direction of what we want. Go plus with outward and then minus with prograde. There we go. That's looking better. All right, so we're getting really close. Again, our objective is to get the green line overlapping that yellow dash line. Let's go to outward. So I bet it's going to be a combination here of outward and plane change, maybe a little bit of uh, prograde. But that's getting us really, really, really close. And let's go back to plane change. I think the, I, th I bet velocity will get us the rest of the way there. Let's do this, no? I think that's gonna do it right here. Let's go to velocity. I think we need to take just a little bit of velocity out of it. That should help. And then we go to outward. Oops, outward, plane change. Maybe it's outward, it's going to be more efficient. Do that. We're still not quite there. We're getting close. And very, very close. Very, very close. This is the fun part of Orbiter. <laughs> uh, okay, I think what we need to do is come back with our prograde just a little bit outward it's so so finicky when you get this close maybe I do have to go back with just a little bit of prograde Oh, God, it's so frustrating. Let's go back to prograde. Still not enough. See, that's not, uh, okay, so the PE ratio is not high enough. That's the problem here. 
So let's add prograde back in. Go back to outward. The outward seems to be hurting more than it's helping there. And plane change too. Seems to not really be helping a lot right there. There we go. That's better. Okay. So just a small bit of plane change here. To see if we can get that relative inclination on zero. And that's really going to be good enough. Relative inclination on zero, PE ratio on one. Uh, let's check the rest of the plan. And we have no arrival at um, the Earth. So we need to adjust this, I believe. I'm not sure how important it is to do this right now, but let's just play around with the variables for a minute here and see if we can get this roughly closer. I think it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood around here. And I remember when I change these variables, it's going to change the ones that we just set up. So we have to go back through all of them. And I again, I don't know how necessary it is to do all of these variables right now, but we're just going to try to do it to be as close as we can. Okay, that's looking better. We're in the neighborhood. And it's not ideal because the PE ratio is a little far off there. Let's see if we can get this just a little bit better. Let's go hyper. Go past it a little bit and then come back in. That's doing it right there. Okay, that's getting us there. Oh shoot, I screwed up and did auto min. God dang it. That's frustrating. Let's go back where we were. No, that's not right. I completely screwed that all up. Really hate when I do that. Okay, let's go back. I love and hate that auto min feature if I'm not paying attention and I accidentally have that selected. Okay, let's get back to where we were. There we go. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go with that, and then let's set up our arrival at Mars. So we got to go here, and we got to get into the neighborhood. We're quite a ways off. And I think, oh, I see what we need to do. Well, there we go. We have an arrival there. That's probably going to be close enough. We have plenty of time to adjust our arrival at Mars, but we'll just... Clean it up as best as we can here. And this is looking good. All right, that's good enough. We have an arrival at Mars. We'll go back through our plan. That looks fine. And that one's off a little bit. So we do need to adjust the sling here around Venus one more time. So we're on stage two there. Let's go to view. Uh, we are looking at the burn here. Let's see what we need to do. Um, I think it was prograde was doing it and then the plane change maybe nope outward and prograde yeah there we go If you guys know, please do let me know in the comments below if it's necessary to go through each sling of the plan just to do this mid-course correction burn or not. But I think the most important thing to get right right now is the sling around Venus that we're trying to fine tune right here. So let's, uh, let's at least get that really close. We'll probably want to go to, I think we're getting in the right direction here. Let's go back this way with it. 
we're going plus on prograde and then go to outward go minus on outward try the plane god so so finicky You could spend a whole video just doing this right here. So plane and outward. A little bit more plane. Should do it a little bit more outward right here. That's going to get us there. That's really, really close. So let's go to the plane, put that on hyper. And outward. Uh, you know what? I bet velocity, prograde velocity is going to get us there. Go to micro. A little bit of prograde, there we go. So that's gonna do it. Fine tune it right here. Micro, get this on zero. Perfect. All right, there's the burn. Uh, we're probably past the burn time, but I think for these mid course corrections, not that important. So, no, we still have time till the burn actually. So let's time accelerate, because this is gonna change. So we might actually have to tweak this a little bit. Again, I have all of the realism settings on, so you have non-spherical gravity sources and all of that, which makes um, these calculations a lot more difficult. It hasn't changed that much, so I'm not going to really mess with uh, trying to mess with that again. So let's go ahead and get the ship oriented for the burn here. Translation. Rotation. So we need to um, <clears throat> we need to get this green X into the center of the target. Let's go to uh, burn time and get the burn. Let's verify we are looking at uh, 402 meters per second, a little bit less than what Delta V is saying, which is good. We want to stop the burn just a little bit shy of it, and we'll uh, clean it up ourselves. Uh, so we'll just manually rotate the ship around. But I like I like the plan so far. I think we'll hopefully get there. find that gray there we go so it looks like um, a lot of plane change going into this burn not sure again how much of that is because of the fact that I wasn't able to get the most accurate injection burn but uh, that's fine we will go with that so let's turn on auto center I never understand why it's so many clicks away to get there. There it is. Let's turn that on. And we are, is this time to ignition? 270 seconds away. And we'll speed time up. When this gets to zero, we'll hit the burn button and let uh, burn time do the burn for us. Everything's centered up. Looks good. Let me just verify transex again here. Relative inclination is close enough to zero. PE ratio is on one, so that looks good. Let's go back to burn time. Okay, speed time up. Thirty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and burn. So not very much delta V really for this burn, not too bad. Get ready to turn off auto center. Okay, let's uh, just finish the burn. Let's turn off auto center and then we can use translation. translation to clean the burn up. Zeroed out. All right, let's go back and turn off maneuver mode. Uh, there we go. Turn that off, and so we can go back to transex over here. Okay. Um, at this point, we need to just coast. Uh, let's go ahead and we will save the scenario here, and let's go ahead and speed time up. So we are Venus is currently here, and we are here. Of course, Earth is over here. So we're kind of right now in between the Earth and Venus's orbit. So I'm watching uh, our flight plan here. It's deviating.
quite a bit. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. I think what I'm going to do is, because um, sometimes it will come back. And right now it's not looking like it's going to come back. I think what I'm going to do is coast over here to this solid white line, because I don't remember, like I said, if that's the line of nodes or the dash line is. It seems like what, whatever the case may be, it didn't take too much fuel to do a, a course adjustment right there. So let's try it here too and see if we can get this back to uh, getting us on course. But you can see uh, we're getting closer. Venus is here, so we're kind of playing catch up. We need to go underneath the Venus's orbit, come around, and then rendezvous with it over here. So we're still uh, quite a ways away from actually rendezvousing with Venus. But I just want to play around here with another course correction right here at this white line because I'm not sure if that might be the, um, the line of nodes. So let's turn on maneuver mode again, and we're going to go to our variables. Uh, let's see, let's just play around with these. I would suspect it's probably not gonna take too much to fix this. Let me just go ahead and time a little bit. How much time is that? A thousand seconds, okay, that's fine. Um, I would suspect it probably won't take too much to adjust these variables this time. A Little bit of outward, and we might even, if it's not too much, we might even be able to make this course adjustment with just linear RCS. Let's see what we got. Come back in with outward, prograde. Seems like outward and prograde is getting us there. So yeah, I mean, that's not very much. We're looking at about five meters, six meters per second and outward and not even a meter per second and prograde. So very tiny, tiny bit. Um, well, let's go ahead and point the vessel prograde. So get ourselves situationally uh, aware, uh, get ourselves situational awareness, and so we know which uh, which direction to burn with our linear RCS here. Because I think we're just gonna we're just gonna use that for the burn. So we'll just speed time up. Let the vessel get situated here into prograde. Turn off prograde. Linear RCS is on. Um, let me just finish cleaning this up just a little bit. Let's see if we can get uh, relative inclination right on zero and PE ratio. We can probably get that just a little bit closer. That's going the wrong direction. And then we're going to come back to prograde. Let's actually go past with the plus there and come back here. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Wrong direction. That's gonna be close enough right there, guys. PE ratio is not perfectly on one, but it's it's close enough. Um, all right, so for this, I mean, six meters per second, that's nothing. Let's just speed time up and we'll get to the burn time here because I'm quite sure we're going to have to do another course adjustment. But really, um, this one is such a small course adjustment here. I'm not so much worried about this, except that we're still a long ways away, so it could make a difference in the long run. Okay, so we are coming up to the burn and burn time. So I am just translating sideways and it's probably going to take a little bit of uh, I can't remember if it's forward or backwards but I'm going to get the sideways done here first because you can see the X over there on the left side of the target right here so I'm just kind of translating over to that direction until it comes over to the middle of the target and then we'll finish the burn with I think it's forward is it forward it is forward so we'll finish the burn with some forward RCS clean it up Get that X in the middle, get it right on zero as best as we can. All right, that's close enough, guys. Now, I suspect we're going to do one more course correction when we get close to Venus, but uh, we're, we're on track. Uh, we're, how are we doing on time on the video? So let's go ahead, and I really want to get to Venus in this part, so let's just go ahead and time accelerate a little bit and move forward in time. 
Let me stop that rotation. Okay. All right, we're at max time acceleration. Um, we're holding pretty well here. We're holding pretty well. So I think it's just going to take a small course correction when we get close to Venus. So we're just, you can see right here where we are. Venus is just ahead of us. You can see where our orbit here is just falling inside of Venus's orbit. And this, this time that we're spending right here inside of Venus's orbit is allowing us to catch up with the planet that's in front of us right now. And then we're going to intersect it right here. So we're going to get much closer here because uh, we're looking good course-wise. We're going to get much closer to Venus before we do a final course correction here. So let me just um, I'm gonna face prograde. I just like to keep my situational awareness here in space. And I think if we look around, we'll see Venus. Um, Venus should be uh, off to our left and in front of us a little bit. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. It's off to our right. I guess I'm looking at that backwards. But there's Venus. You can see it's starting to look a little bit bigger up there. Uh, let's continue to coast forward a little bit closer. And we're going to do a final course correction burn here shortly. That's probably going to be close enough right about here. Let's go with that. Um, okay, one more cor course correction here, guys, and I could probably just do it, uh, Buck Rogers, but we'll just we'll just do it with um, with a small little plan here. And for the date, let's just go ahead a little bit. Okay. So it looks like it's always um, prograde velocity and outward that gets us there. And that's probably going to be, let me get this cleaned up a little bit. That looks good. That's really close enough. PE ratio on 1, relative inclination on 0. Tiny little burn here. And it's looking like we're going to be doing, again, translating over to the left. And a little bit of forward, so let's just speed time up. All right, there we go. Let's translate over to the left. And for these mid-course correction burns, burning exactly at the the burn time isn't as important. Um, but uh, you know, obviously, the the more accurate you can be with it, the better. So a little bit more burning going into this one. Let's speed time up. Okay, looking good. I think we're gonna go forward now. Cheat and use a little bit of our main engines there. And then I want to check and see how we're doing on fuel. I know I, we should have plenty, but I'm just curious to see where we stand. Let's clean the burn up. All right, perfect, zero. Turn off maneuver mode. And we should be solid now for our arrival and our slingshot past Venus. Let's check the uh, fuel. Yeah, we have plenty of fuel, 52% left. Let's check our locks, 938 days. We are 159 days into the mission. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna fast forward, or I should say uh, speed time up a little bit here until we get to Venus. We're looking at Venus right there. I wanna wrap this episode up as we encounter Venus, and then we'll pick up the next episode with our slingshot past Venus. So let's get to Venus encounter. And in fact, uh, I'll, I'll save the scenario once we get to Venus Encounter. So I'm just kind of watching here. Hopefully this doesn't change too much. And we can pull up um, Orbit MFD over here and reference Venus. And this will allow us to see when we're getting close to being captured by Venus. I should say we're, I, I think technically we're not really getting captured by Venus, but we are our velocity is so high 
we're not actually going to get captured by Venus, but we are going to still uh, experience gravity from Venus. And the G field contribution here is going to climb up um, quite a bit as we approach Venus. You can see it's starting to climb up now. Of course, Venus is looking much larger out of the window. Okay, so I think, um, I wonder if, um, I should do a little bit of a query. It looks like we're in the encounter phase of the flight right now. I wonder if I should just do a quick um, course correction here because we're slipping off a little bit and I want to come in as accurately as we can. So let's just use our translation, our uh, linear RCS. So again, going to the left is helping with relative inclination. PE ratio looks fine where it is. So if we can get that relative inclination on zero, we're golden. And that looks good. Coming in. That's about as zero as I care to get it. So we're golden. Um, kill rotation. We'll just coast uh, forward a little bit further, and then we're going to end this part here. So let's get up to Venus, and uh, let's pull up the um, orbit MFT. We'll watch uh, watch the G field contribution here as we approach Venus. There we go. So you can see now Venus is our dominant uh, gravity influence here, and uh, so that looks good. All right. Uh, Let's just point the ship prograde relative to Venus here. And that's where we're going to leave it. It's about 30 minutes in. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, it, this has been a really fun flight so far. Um, everything's going smoothly. I think we should be good. Uh, but as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Let's go ahead and end this part here. And uh, take care. We will see you guys in the next video.